Kittlebite here. And uh, today I'm going to do a quick video, hopefully quick, of uh, LED string lights. When, uh, you know, I've seen these on advertisements and stuff and seen them uh, on like bikes, some of the motorcycles you'll see them on and even occasionally cars and, you know, I'm familiar with LEDs and stuff, but the string lights, I'm like, eh, it seems like a little bit of a hassle. Well, let me tell you, they're actually really cool, and, and the things you can do with them are just limitless. It's just, they, I'm that uh, excited about this, because uh, we bought a LED light for under the kitchen cabinet back, oh, it's probably been a year ago, and, uh, you know, the thing was... Uh, ridiculously expensive now granted it's you know plastic fancy you know light that doesn't look bad or anything it doesn't look like a ribbon uh, it's encased in plastic um, but for the price it it, it I could uh, everything I've got here was cheaper than what I paid for that light and this will do much better and I can set it up so, so the lights are, are where I want them to go various colors it's really cool. So, your lights, string of lights will come in a, on a roll. They basically look like so. Uh, they have a th uh, sticky backing so, they, that, so that they will stick at least somewhat to other surfaces. They're really, really light. It's just very thin uh, co uh, conductor in there. You know, it's ribbon thin, and then these are your little LEDs. Uh, these happen to be 3228s, or I'm sorry, 3528s, and that's actually the size in millimeters of the diode or the LED. And uh, so let me turn them on so you can see. These are uh, cool white SMDs, um, and they put off a decent amount of light and I like the, this color you can get, like, as, as I said before you can get them in all different colors um, just briefly there's two uh, somewhat standard I guess uh, types of the LED uh, strings or threads or um, ribbons strips whatever you want to call them You've got, this is a 3528, it's kind of the standard, and uh, it's best for a single color, and the, the this particular strip is what's known as 300, uh, it's like got like 300 LEDs, uh, I think it's per the length of it, or it might be per 5 meters actually, May, I'm not 100% sure, but it's, three, it's you'll know it by 300. You can also get them by 600 which in other words is twice as dense hence twice as bright these are generally best for single color and you can get them in all different colors now there's also 50 50s and that means the LED is uh, five millimeter square so in other words it's a fair bit bigger than these and it's therefore brighter um, it can be up to three times brighter but uh, they're generally best for color changing if you want to change, be able to change your colors. Um, if you're just wanting a single color, then I'd recommend the 3528s. And if you want them brighter, just get the 600 density instead of the 300. Um, but those are your uh, so a couple other things just to help differentiate between them. If you look at the end here, or actually this is the end of the wire of this particular string or thread and you've got two cables coming off of it which allow you to connect to another string if you wanted so the 3528 has two it has a positive and a negative and I guess I should tell you these are DC these are 12 volt DC direct current and that means that on these there's two uh, positive and negative and 
One of the things when you hook them up, don't short it out. You'll notice the end of this one is just cut and it works fine. Um, you can, there's a splice, every three there's a place that you can do splicing. Um, and you can join additional strings together by, for instance, let me find one, there you go, soldering. So you can solder the two, make sure you get your positive to positive, negative to negative. That is critical for direct current, otherwise you will short out your battery or transceiver. Um, the difference, one of the differences on the 5050s is that they have four, they have four connect, four wires basically, to, to uh, make it simple. They have four wires instead of two. So if you get 3528s, get your wire, get a wire that's going to work for it, get connectors that are going to work for it, get switches that are going to work for it. Um, and same with 5050. You know, make sure everything matches the one you get. The there's also uh, waterproof versions of this, and basically what they do is they take pretty much the same thread, the same ribbon, and uh, it's covered in plastic, a clear plastic, and the ends are sealed. Um, on a waterproof one, the ends are sealed. Waterproof ones are harder to chain because they're sealed, so be aware of that if you're going to chain them. A uh, couple things to be aware of is the what kind of power. Again, this is DC, so it doesn't just plug straight into your wall. Um, it's in this case, here's the transceiver I'm using. It's a 12 volt DC and it's 2 amp. A string, a single string of 300 density takes uh, 1.7 amps minimum. You can have more amps on your transceiver than your lights require. This could be a 15 amp transceiver as long as it's 12 volts. The lights will only draw as many amps as they uh, need or can use. So you're not going to like burn them out or anything because you have a 15 amp transceiver. Um, but you can't, if you go less than what they need, then they're not going to work right. The, oh, let me show you the connector on this. Um, these particular lights, this was already on. This was part of the transceiver. And you just plug them in like so. Now, you do need a switch unless you just want them on by plugging in, which works fine. This particular switch is just a standard cheap motion detector switch and it's got it's for it's made for the 3528 so it's got the input yeah, they're getting tangled up on me you got the input goes in here these two output goes on these out on these two and it's got some instructions on posit which ones are positive which ones are negatives make sure you follow your instructions or you'll can short out your power source um, and I like that. I like the motion detector for this, what we're using it for, because when someone goes over to use the counter or whatever, it'll just automatically come on. Um, so uh, it's, you can do a switch, regular toggle switch on on off, you know, you, whatever. Your, your options are pretty much endless with any type of switch, probably dimmers as well. Um, the wire. Okay, oh, one thing, you can't just, they will, this will bend, right, this way, but it doesn't bend, it's flat ribbon, it doesn't just bend that way. Now, if you want to do it like that, that'll work fine, but you can't have a straight 90 degree bend or any sort of uh, bend, anything like that. So, you'll need connectors, I've actually ordered some connectors that they haven't got here yet that go on the end you uh, scrape that off the little see if you can see the little dot I hope it's picking up if you can see the little dots you scrape those off and then there's a little connector it slides on with uh, some a metal uh, 
piece of metal that'll touch on each of those and then it goes across the other side where it does the same thing and that that'll hold them together you can get them in 90 degree angles you can get them where they're just um, wire so you can put them at any angle you want or you can buy wire and solder them on um, in my case I'm not gonna just have strings uh, I'm gonna have uh, some other uh, I'm gonna take some of these and I'm gonna have multiple wires coming off and uh, you can do that as well just make sure you have your positive positive negative negative don't sort them out um, and that's just 20 gauge uh, 12 volt DC wire um, you can buy these as complete systems uh, a lot of places sells them complete systems um, if you're getting like the 50 50s color change you, they even got color change remote controls so you know they're pretty they're pretty neat and they're not you know don't be intimidated by them i guess is the big key to this is i, you know, I want you to see that you know i, I was a little nervous about it because i'm just not really you know that electronic minded uh but they are really actually pretty simple and um man you can use these on your cars your bikes you know under your countertops you can use them as accent lighting they're, they're uh, just endless. Uh, I'm even thinking about getting some waterproof stuff for uh, above the fish tanks. And uh, so, again, it's just a quick video so you kind of get an idea of what it takes to do them and uh, the basics of how to do them, what to buy, that type of thing. So hope it, hope it was helpful. Uh, if so, please uh, like, subscribe, uh, comment. And if you do have questions, feel free to ask. I am not an expert on this, but uh, I will answer the questions if I can. So other than that, take care.